Greetings, my noble knights. It is I, Blaze Templar, and we're here with episode 29, I want to say. I'm going to double check that real quick because I, for the life of me, am not sure. Uh. Oh, 30. This is actually episode 30. My bad. I apologize for that. But, as you can tell, uh, we are actually getting fairly deep into this, too, which will be nice to uh, get to going and all that fun jazz. So, let's just get right into it. I apologize for the wait, but I couldn't remember which uh, episode we were on, so, you know. But regardless, we're here now, and we're gonna roll out. And I've found that just having it set up like this has been really quite handy, um, where I just rotate between the one screen. It's a little annoying because then I have to hesitate to figure out things, but at the same time, it works out all right for the most part, so... All right, Queen Fury. Okay. So, we go to the Queen Fury, and we'll be looking pretty good. Of course, we'll want to buy some items before then, but, you know, that just kind of comes with the territory. Mr. Giant, please get out of the way. Thank you. And I don't think this is the item shop, but it might be, so we'll take a look. Oh yeah, this is the item shop. Yes, I will buy from you. There. get ourselves restocked, because holy smokes, that battle was ridiculous. But everyone got out on the... Uh, got out okay, so I can't complain too much. Speaking of which... Level 2. Hard blade set. Okay, I just wanted to check my status of moves. Hardblade is actually a pretty tricky one to pull off, but it is a really good move to get to pulling off. Back to the, uh, Badlands, Wastelands, whatever. Barons, that's the one. I don't know why I keep on forgetting what this super place is called. I've been here enough times, it's practically a second home. You know, this would be an awful place to actually make your home. It really would be. Just like, I'm making my home in the bar uh, barrens. With all these skeletons and no water. Ooh. But we got pretty far without getting into a battle, which is kind of nice. stunned than poisoned. That being said, I'd rather not have either. I goofed it up. I goofed it up! Oh uh, boy. I'll have Albert defend, get his health back up a little bit. I do want to hit one of those before I get out of here. There we go! Easily the weakest of them right now, but that's okay. Because check out that dance. And hey, we leveled again. Kind of a weird time to level, but okay.
So, in the comments section, I actually have a question for you, now that I'm thinking about it. Uh, once I pull off something special with Rose and max out her additions, do you want me to switch her out for someone else? Uh, personally, I will use her in the final battle, but that doesn't necessarily mean I have to use her through the entire game. So, uh, with that in mind, is there someone else you'd like to see me use that has an addition? It has to be someone with an addition, so no Shauna. Um, I like Shauna, but she doesn't have an addition, so... I don't want to use Shauna that much. I might take some time and just grind up her, uh... Dragoon Spirit, because I can, but, you know. And I saved on the wrong file. So this better not mess up! Otherwise, I will be a very sad, sad panda. It's the first time I've done that this entire Let's Play, so I guess I'm doing okay, but... Holy smokes, for being a fantasy setting, like, you know, medieval, that is a ship. No, really? It is bigger than you. Kayla, member of the Queen Fury. She's not very big. Com Commodore Polar. Why is he only... Why is he a Commodore with only one ship? Although his cape is fluttering like something else. Commodore! Oh, right. Yay! I like that. So, time to hop on the ship. Yeah, bro. Totally. This episode will probably end on the ship, uh, right before something kind of big gets started. So, you know. Got a nice distance, almost through the Elisa or Elisa Bay, or however that's spelled. I L L S I A, I believe is what it was. I wasn't really paying attention. Just the slow, methodical rock of the ship. Back and forth. Back. My bad. And this is actually one of my favorite sections in the entire game, because you get actually run around as, like, Shauna. Which is pretty cool. Many things have happened. I was put in jail, Dark came to rescue me, the were with Lavitz, and now we're here. Okay, thank you for the recap. You can! You're a dragoon! You can... But you have wings! I'm pretty sure that's what they call flying. I mean, you can't do it all the time, but hey, it's cool. So, because this is a, such a fun segment, I always like to make a save file just for it. And considering I goofed up, I had to make a third save file. Oops. Oh well. And there we are. Stardust. Nope. He is a very big man. I'm trying not to bounce all around, but... Oh, sorry, did it get your feet dirty? So that's one of the two Stardust on the Queen Fury. The other is over here. A phantom ship over here. Okay. Boom. Stardust. Now, there is a little mini game that you can earn a little bit of money on. It's kind of pointless, but we'll do it once.
Jill Jillian vegetable match. Basically, you tap X, um, each vegetable has um, a different number of cuts, and then you just, um, you know, wait to flick it off. It's a fun little mini game. It's pointless, but it is a fun little mini game. Because it's just like, yay, I'm chopping vegetables! Forty-three pieces to his thirty-five. Pretty sure I won that one. It's not my best score, I think my best was 60 once? Maybe? It's a record for chopping, and a record for the number of veggies! Would you like to play again? No, I'm good. See, you get a little bit out of it, and it's a fun little sidetrack game. I don't recommend you actually trying to grind money there, though. That's pointless. Albert's in there. Dragon. Well, that's not a suggestion or anything. Here you are, Dart. Dart is completely out of it. And Polar, you're such a romantic. It's kind of weird. Eventually our journey will end. It's a good question. Um well. Think to or talk to someone apparently. to talk to Rose. So yeah, this section is a little bit of a runaround. Uh, just talk to everybody. Uh, and I don't think my voice would actually handle talking to, or talking everyone's part right now. Uh, kind of tired. I've already done some videos today, so, you know. But regardless, here we are. Hey, Rose! It's not like she's hard to find. You might know something about the black monster. Mm -hmm. She has nothing to tell me, yet she's the most knowledgeable of the cast. What are you gonna do with the black monster? to know what he is. She can tell him one thing, though. Do you know what the power source of the dragon is? And this is actually something of note. 
later on. War is not... War is not in human nature. Humans make themselves fight by making themselves enter insanity. It is the same for revenge. This is a tool to amplify insanity, and this insanity is the source of power of the dragons, the dragon knight. Someday, something will happen, and if you cannot chasten your insanity, I wonder if you will be able to endure it. Endure it, given the size of your spirit. I personally disagree with that, but, you know, everyone has their mindsets in life, so, you know. And it is a game, so, you know, the entire world might operate a little differently than our own. And human nature might not be quite the same, for all I know. Hers is not a journey. She's gonna take a walk for a change. Honestly, Rose is one of the characters I like more than some of the others, because she does have quite the backstory, and she's an interesting character just all around. Kind of broody, but you know. You didn't really see broody females in games at this time era. Cheerful, definitely. You saw lots of Shaunas, but Roses? Not so much. Do you want to talk about your love? No, that's not why I'm here. Can I ask you one thing? Why are you with us? That's a little break for her. Fighting dragons is a break. Rushing to death. None of your business. Not a happy rose. So yeah, this is a bit of exposition going on here. 25 years ago. Your steps during the attack are slow. More precise, faster steps. Yes, father. During training, don't think of me as father. Master. That's pretty harsh. You cannot take over the rogue school with such pathetic skills. You implanted a murderous intention in your fist, didn't you? Oh, Lada, what's wrong? Lada. Get out of my sight. Wow. No wonder why she left. I mean, if that was her kind of training every day, holy smokes. Yeah, I'd leave too. You done goofed, Tashel. You done goofed. Too mushy. Tease Kongle. You're 60 years old, buddy. 60. I mean, you walk around like you're dignified. An old dignified individual, and then you are teasing stuff. I mean, he's pulled shenanigans like this before, but come on, man.
There's Congo. Congo, always the one. They're not now. Friends. Still don't know. Why don't you talk to Albert? He might know something about Dole. That was a lot of teasing, buddy. <laughs> King of human. Why did they make the pas passage big enough for like a 12 foot giant? Whoa, I'm sorry, but you're in the way of my cleaning. You know, I think they should have him run to his actual size. He'd take bigger strides than that, I think. But then again, PS1, he got limitations and all that jazz, so, you know. But he's just walking around the top of the ship without any problems. That guy's got a crush on Shauna. Fight forever, Dole. We're all species equal. Maybe friends are the people who walk the same road. People who walk together, but not led by somebody who share happiness. That is friends? Yeah, that's us now. Although we have different objectives, we're walking side by side. And he just walks off. Just like, whatever! This is stupid. So thanks to those girls, I can continue to walk on this road. Um, Albert? Oh boy. I like running, running around as Albert, though, because he's got that cape and just like, wee. To actually make a cape flare out that much, you'd have to be running pretty quick, I think. Looks like you're having fun, as always. Yay. She threw a book at his head. That's an awful welcome. <laughs> you gotta become cool like Dark. Okay. Question. Dart. Okay. Go find Dart again. As you can see, there's a lot of running around in this section. <clears throat> it lets you learn the ship pretty well, at least. Not that you'll ever really be on it much. are kind of ridiculous except the Maru one. Um, I'm trying to remember which one's the funniest, but... <laughs> I doubt it with Congo. Yes, Congo don't speak with forked tongue. 
<laughs> Just like kick. <laughs> oh, not a happy Maru. Of course, if you know. Maru is. Or Sean is not that kind of person. And what's this about an adventure? She suspects, suspects Rose. She is pretty cold, but, you know. Maru's Expedition. Yay! Silent leader. And I'm not sure what the horn was about, but you know, horn is a horn. Oh. So the often talked about ghost ship apparently isn't so rumored. Holy smokes. Scary skeleton. <laughs> but holy smokes, this looks amazing for PlayStation One. And it was violent. Oh, joy. It's gonna ram him. Well. Yeah, hit a warship. Great idea. A ironclad warship, even. Whoops. I'm sure it's not actually made of iron. It's probably made of like a lightweight steel, but still. Whoops. Check on damage. Ship a mill seesaw. Rose seems to recognize that ship, though. Oh. That's not a good sign. How'd you get knocked all the way to, like, the core of the ship? Oh. That's not good news. I mean, she's got a bow, but... Oh. Oh. Joy.
that knights protected her. Might as well take a tour on a ghost ship. I guess. First things first, we're gonna get to the save point and call this an episode. Because we've gone quite a distance. So, I will see you guys next time on Let's Play The Legend of Dragoon. And I hope you enjoyed. Later.